feel that can be color washed. <sighs> yeah, it got me thinking. Got me thinking. Imagine marching for equality whilst being given the side eye as a reality check to remind me that my parents crossed over the ethnicity line, political lines like Shakespeare, two star cross lovers, willing to risk it all for me. They risked it all for me, for him, for her, for you. Yeah, my parents knew what was at stake and because of them, I imagine how frustrating it is. Let's say for him, Rory. Imagine him being caught between a paradoxical reality where his skin complexion creates the kind of debate where he is judged for his mannerisms, his attire, his speech, his physicality and his knowledge of origin. Where his nationality is shackled in links like chains that imprison him before with the conversations of people from different um, mixed heritages um, um, and, and how that kind of relates to your experience? I'm half Ghanaian. I was um, born and raised in Accra. Okay. And, um, yeah. I moved over here when I was maybe six, seven years old. And um, my parents made a very good point of making sure that I know about my mixed heritage, the fact that I'm mixed race. Um, Can I and, ask which side yes, of your family is it? My, my mum is Ghanaian, my dad is okay. English. Um, and yeah, so I, I was very in touch with my West African heritage anyway. Yeah, going into this at first, I, I had a very, well, I thought I had a very clear understanding of like where I come from, what it means to be mixed race. Um, I've got three younger siblings and we've spoken about it um, like all of our lives. I've spoken with, with my parents quite often as well. Um, but speaking to a lot of different people, especially who are um, not exactly like similar descent to myself, was really, really out of thing. And I always thought I had a lot, and I do have a lot of common, um, like my cousins and other members of my family and other friends I have that are uh, born in Ghana. But I realized that I also have a lot in common and probably more in common with some of my friends, um, like my friend Charlotte, who is half Indonesian, half English. A lot of our kind of experiences, um, very, very similar. Um, from growing up in, myself growing up in Ghana, Charlotte's case growing up in um, they're moving over to the UK, um, but moving to an area where we're the only kind of like people of colour. Um, I then realised that we have a lot more in common than I thought. And I, I've had the term like um, third culture being used for a lot of like, mixed race people before. Mm -hmm. And um, I think over the past couple of days, that really, really kind of came into its own. Um, 